Savage Finance. Because it's a jungle out there that wants your money. Here I will teach you how to manage the jungle and make it out. Welcome to another edition of Savage Finance. The personal finance that your mom and dad never had. This is your host, Glendon Cameron, and we're going to talk about the 50% solution. This is going to be a little different. It's going to be something that's going to require you to do more. If this is your first time here, what I want you to do is go back to the beginning of the channel and begin to watch videos from the very first video up to now, because each video has economic benefit for you and it's going to help you manage your money better. So with that, let's get into it. What is the 50% solution? You're pretty smart, you should have a clue. The 50% solution is saving 50% of your total income. I'm gonna tell you how I came across this and I'm going to walk you through the things that you need to do. Because more than likely, if you're the average American, this is something you can't do with your current income because you're just barely making it. So we're gonna walk through this. And I'm gonna tell you a story of when I used to be economically fragile, economically disadvantaged, when I was living in what's called a boarding house. If you don't know what a boarding house is, it's a place where people who are strangers share a house. There was like nine roommates in this house. And my rent was $150 per week. And this was in the 90s. One of the things that you have to understand is when you're economically fragile, it forces you to do things you normally would not want to do. And I didn't want to live here, but that's where my money dictated that I could live. And as I was exiting that situation because I figured out a way to get a better job, and then I figured out a way to get, leave that job to get a better job, and it's at the third job that I figured out the 50% solution because I was working with some really financially savvy people and I had this one guy, he's like, look, the money you make here, you should put 50% away. I was like, really? He said, yes, because it will change your life. And this old guy, he was one of the older salesmen, he sat me down and he just kind of schooled me on how to handle and manage money. And once I got my third big check, I actually put 50% of it in the bank. And what happened is, it is startling because one of the things that happened is once I put that money in the bank, I had other projects going on and then I put more money in the bank. And then I got this rare, rare opportunity of selling office furniture to a company that said, look, if you sell iOffice furniture for us, we'll buy new office furniture from you. I took this offer to my boss who flat just turned it down. But at this point, I went ahead and created my own company, my own LLC, my first LLC, and I sold their furniture and I got 50% of the deal. It was a lot of money that came in fast, but I remember 50% of the money goes into the bank. And next thing I know, I'm looking at my checking account it has over $300,000 in it. And it happened so quickly and I was just like, whoa, I felt so comfortable because when you do the 50 percent solution you're never ever going to be broke again i've not been broke since living in that boarding house and one of the things that it does and and with our current situation you're going to see that there are many people who have not put away any money they haven't put away 50 percent they haven't put 25 percent they haven't even put five percent away they make money they spend money they make money they spend money the 50% 50 solution is more of a mindset than anything else because one of the things you have to do, and also I'll be honest with you, I was making a lot of money, which allowed me to practice the 50% solution from that point up to the day. And that's one of the things you're gonna to have to do. If you're making $30,000 a year, you have the regular bills of an adult. It's gonna be practically impossible for you to put 50% of your income away unless you live with your parents like a child. First level of the 50% solution is I'm gonna put 50% of my income away. The second level of the 50% solution is to make enough 
income for you to put 50% away. Because what it's going to do is push on you, and I will be 100% transparent. 50% of my income is still a really good income. It's still, I can still look, you know, I, I actually, the, the title of this video is The 50% Solution. I actually practice something that's a little better because I pretty much saved 75 to 80% of my solution, of my income. But once again, my income is high. I'm not going to try to trick you guys or mislead you guys. My income is really high. So me living on 10% of my income is still really, really good. I still get to drive luxury cars. I still live in the million dollar house, but this is the mindset. The mindset is to create enough income that you can live on 50% because what's going to happen is it's going to expand because I went from the 50% solution to the 75% solution to some years I lived on less than 10% of my income. Just to be honest, my income was really, really high. It was seven figures, and it's real easy to live on 10% of your income when you're making seven figures. If you don't have bad habits. This is one of the things that trips up the average American who gets indoctrinated into the American credit system, which urges you to live beyond your means. And part of living in the 50% solution is to live very much within your means. I would say you could start practicing the 50% solution when you get to an income of about 75, 70 to $100,000 a year. This is when you can start practicing the 50% solution. Now, if you have a job and you're making $30,000 a year, how are you going to get to that other $40,000 a year? Another thing that we're going to talk about on this channel is starting side hustles and small businesses. And we're gonna talk about it from a practical standpoint because here's the thing that I believe that the average American needs, more income. This is something that no one really talks about a lot on personal finance. They'll talk about side hustle, but the thrust of personal finance is saving money and investing money. And very few people talk about making more money which is what I'm going to fill up that void with information because that is the thing that saved me because I never would have got to the 50% solution if I did not get to a higher income. And I want to impress upon you guys, you need to increase your income. I know that many people are like, hey, I'm a hardworking guy. I go to work, I do what I need to do. I make an honest wage. That's fine, that's well and good. What I want to do is to urge you to want more money so you can have a better life. Because one of the things I found out when I got to the 50% solution that my life changed, I was driving a luxury car. But the thing is, I had so much money, I was able to go out, eat regularly, do certain things. I had a girlfriend, we went on many trips. And I was still able to put 50% of my money in the bank and still do those things because I made more money. One of the principles I want to introduce to you guys is to do more. As Americans, as people here on the internet, the, everyone is looking for rent seeking. Rent seeking is making a lot of money and not really doing that much for it. And this is what everyone is looking for. Instead of doing more, they want to do less, yet get more, and that just doesn't work out, especially in the current economic situation that we have. I want you guys to do more. I want you guys to start side businesses. I want you guys to start working more hours. Yes, work more, because when you work more and you do more, you get more, and this is where this plan starts to come together, because I was working a job in business environments. I was selling JDA's office furniture, and my bank account just rapidly increased. Yet I was still living a good life because we're not gonna talk about minimalism here. We're not gonna talk about scrimping and, scr and saving. We're gonna talk about creating more income so you can save 50% of your income, yet still have a good life and still do the things you wanna do and to still enjoy life, still take trips, still eat out, still buy stuff because this enables you by doing more and, and creating a higher level of income 
This enables you to be financially thrifty, yet still live a good life. Because this is one of the things that I am very, very passionate about. I don't want you to scrimp and save. I don't want you to not buy lattes. I don't want you to be clipping coupons. I don't want you to be sleeping in hostels. This isn't what this channel's about. This is Savage Finance. What we do is we go out there and we grab our economics by the throat and we bring them home. None of this minimalism, scraping, and living like what I like to call pathologically frugal that people, because here's the problem with being that cheap. Once you become that cheap, you're always going to be that cheap. You can literally have $10 million in the bank and you're going to be so cheap that you cannot enjoy the money. You're going to be afraid to spend the money. You're going to act weird. You're going to be looking over your shoulder like some boogeyman is going to come get you because you are so cheap. And I believe it's a mental condition. I believe that you should manage your money to the best of your ability. I believe you should segment your money. I believe you should save your money. You should invest your money. But also, I believe you should enjoy your money. I have a $100,000 car in my garage. Well, it was $100,000 when it was new. And I'm glad I spent the money and I enjoy it. And I'm going to keep it till the wheels fall off. I have another car that I paid 50 that was $50,000 when it was new. It's also in my garage. So I have $150,000 worth of sheet metal in my garage that what it cost when it was new and you know what in the future i'm probably going to spend six figures on another car yep i'm going to do it and you know what that's going to do to my financial net worth absolutely nothing it's not going to change me it's not going to it's not going to change the money i have in, in the bank it's not going to change my investments i'm going to be able to enjoy the money also while being financially responsible. This is what I want for you guys. I want you to be financially responsible, but I want you to enjoy your money. I want you to enjoy life because this, because this is one of the things that you're gonna see here on the internet that people are pathologically frugal. They're super cheap because this is one of the things that happens when you become that cheap. You become that cheap with your money, you become cheap with your love. You become cheap with, you just become a cheap person. You just start looking at stuff and many people feel, and I'm going to go ahead and give you some economic facts. You cannot become cheap. You can't cheap your way to financial prosperity. You must do more. You must create vehicles of economic engines that put money in your pocket. Just saving money, being pathologically cheap, refusing to spend money, that will enable you to have some money, but you're never going to become rich doing that. You have to do more. You have to serve your fellow man. You have to create products and services. You have to become a producer or a creator, not just cheap. And you can go ahead and be a financially responsible person, have money in the bank, have money invested, and have a Ferrari in your garage of your million dollar house, which is paid for because the million dollar house is paid for and the Ferrari is paid for if you practice the principles that are embedded in this channel on your personal life, which is going to require you to do more. Let's talk about doing more. And this is a common, common theme throughout my life. Whenever I've worked really hard and I've produced and created products for people, I was immensely rewarded. I wrote a book that made me a million dollars, a book. But the book helped people. The book gave people a blueprint about an esoteric business. So I want you guys to think about what can you create? What can you bring to the world? Let this notion of I'm just going to chill. I'm just going to Netflix and chill. I'm not going to do this much. The people who are Netflix and chill and not doing this much are the people who are not going to have any money during this pandemic. They're going to be the people who are going to be begging the government for money. They're going to be begging their mortgage company not to foreclose on their house. They're going to be begging their car dealership, the people who sold them the cars, not to repo their car. They're going to be begging their credit card companies not to cram down their credit lines. They're going to be begging and begging. I want better for you. I want you to be your own economic prince. I want you, because as you know, right now there are many, there's a stimulus package where Americans are going to get 1200 bucks and businesses are going to get money. 
my business doesn't need the money because the way that I run my business and the practicing of the 50% solution. I've got money in the bank that I can live on for years. I don't have, I don't need this stuff. And if you will watch the video that I deployed today or yesterday on my other channel, Hustlers Kung Fu, the stimulus package has a lot of got you's, gimmicks, and delays. So if you're someone sitting around waiting on that money because you desperately need it, I want you to take this video because this thing is going to happen again. We're going to have another economic downturn, and I want you to take the information that when you get on your feet, that you're going to aim to practice the 50% solution because it will literally change your life. You'll never be broke again. You'll never be stressed out about money again. You'll never be late on the credit card. You'll never be late with your mortgage. You'll never be late on anything because you're always going to have a good chunk of money to the side. And this is going to accelerate your investing activity like you would not believe. I was once in the stock market and my portfolio was $1.5 million. Why was it $1.5 million? Because I was putting so much money in the stock market because instead of taking my, because my 50%, I started putting 50% of my income into the market. And my market got to seven figures. My account, my account got to seven figures in like about two and a half years because I was deploying so much money. So from an investment standpoint, if you wanted to open up a business, if you wanted to buy a Vigo, if you wanted to buy a van and start a delivery service, if you practiced a 50% solution, you will have the money because this is one of the problems with the American credit indoctrination system, that so many people are unable to provide funding for the things they want because they're addicted to credit. Right now, there's this meme going around. Would you rather have an 800 credit score or $100,000? Most people, because of the addiction to the American credit indoctrination system, would rather have the 800 credit score versus $100,000 cash. In this current economic environment, $100,000 cash is gonna be like half a million dollars. And the deeper we go and the longer this go, it's gonna be like $100,000 is gonna be like a million dollars. You're gonna be able to deploy it, you're gonna be able to get deals, gonna, but if you have the cash, and what's gonna to happen to many people with credit, they're going to see their credit limits crammed down or their credit accounts eliminated because these banks are not playing with people. So start practicing the 50% solution. I understand you have a regular job. You're a regular person right now. That's who you are right now. But that does not have to be your future. Once you start doing more, serving your fellow man, creating products and services and becoming a hustler, and starting a side business, you're gonna be able to do so much more with your life and you're gonna be financially comfortable. I want you to think with this thing going on, how would you feel right now if you did not have any credit card debt, no car payments, no mortgage, and 50 to $100,000 cash in the bank? You would be real comfortable. You would be sleeping pretty easy right now. And the average American is nowhere near that situation because of the fallacy. Because either you're gonna manage your money or your money's gonna manage you. This is, right now, a lot of people's money is managing them. They've become the victim of their money. And once you begin practicing the 50% solution and developing that money mindset that I need to make more money, not to flex, not to show off, but to put aside money so I will have an economic safe haven when things go sideways. This is one of the things I've been preaching and this is one of the things we're gonna talk about. And this is one of the things that we're going to go forward with in this theme because it's a money mindset. When you develop a money mindset and you begin to do more, to get more, and you stack more, your life is gonna be so different. Your life is gonna be so much richer and your life is gonna be so much comfortable. So hopefully you understand what I'm saying. So be sure to subscribe and once again, go to the front of the channel and begin watching all of these videos from the very first video up to this video because the way that I'm creating this channel is to help you learn true fundamental economic principles versus this garbage that's being slammed to shut, drug, to shut down your throat by other people because right now there's this big thing. It's like, oh, I gotta buy stock right now. Is your economic house in order? 
Because if you bought stock right now because it's cheap and your economic house isn't in order, when you run into a situation, guess what? You're going to have to sell that stock to get that money, more than likely at a loss, to satisfy whatever emergency you have because your economic house is in order. This is what we teach here. We teach solid financial economic principles. We don't teach junk. We don't teach garbage. I teach you how to win in this current jungle. So with that, I'll see you guys in the next video. And there should be another video right here for you to watch. So be sure to watch it. It's going to be around here somewhere. I think it's going to be right there.